The teenager charged with planning a mass shooting at Hilliard High School last year made his first appearance in adult court this afternoon. NBC 4's Ted Hart is here with the latest on the case against 17-year-old John Staley. Ted? Yeah, well, with the events in Las Vegas fresh in everyone's mind, prosecutors here asked for a high bond today for John Staley, describing some of the plans that he had made for a mass shooting last year at Hilliard Davidson High School. Prosecutor Joe Gibson reminded the court that it is very rare to catch someone plotting to commit a mass murder. That's what the state believes happened with John Staley. The defendant drew diagrams of the attack. He did a lot of research on the internet into purchasing firearms, firearm parts. Staley was a student at Hilliard Davidson High School this time last year when a fellow student told a resource officer that he'd overheard Staley discussing his plan on a school bus. After initially being charged as a juvenile, Staley was allowed to go home on an electronic monitor. But now that he's charged with conspiracy as an adult, he is back in custody. Defense attorney Steve Palmer asked the court to allow Staley to go home again to await trial. But the court set bond at $250,000. Whether he makes this bond or not, I don't know. Obviously, it's a tall order. That's a lot of money. And it was clearly a bond designed to keep him incarcerated. If convicted, Staley could get up to 11 years in prison. Palmer says the family is devastated and his client is struggling. He is a 17-year-old boy, and uh, this is not easy on him. It's, and whether the, the public, the community, or everybody else wants to recognize that, it is what it is. I mean, this boy is struggling to deal with this problem. And Staley's parents sat in the back of the courtroom today and did not comment afterward. Ted Hart, NBC4.